Now that the dust has settled on this year's Kentucky Derby, we stopped in at Barn 42 at Churchill Downs to visit with Team Mage. Gustavo Delgado Jr., who's the son and assistant to Derby winning trainer Gustavo Delgado Sr., spoke with us about Mage's road to the winner's circle and what it was like to share the journey with his father. The relationship between my dad and I always been a, a, a very close bond between us. He always been some sort of superhero for me because he always been in the, at the top, wherever he's been to. We are best friends, more than a relationship between father and son. I always said it, I'm, I'm his biggest fan. He's a genuine guy. I mean, my dad, he will tell you straight away what he thinks. Fun fact, he didn't like the horse the first time he saw him. He didn't like it, because he got the power mouth. And so, so he said, and he, I remember he looking at me and says, next time you buy a horse, send me the videos and, 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 and stay away from power mouths. And I was like, trust me. You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's about following your guts, your intuition. I love the horse. Everything about him is special. He's fast, he's got a good mind. He's so quiet. I mean, he's, he's I never doubt when he's around an environment that, that, that it might be, you know, uh, nosy, lousy, and people around him. He's so chill about it. Being able to share with my family, because they were all here, my mom, my two sisters, and my nephews and nieces, they were all here together. And kind of the same memories that I had when I was a kid with my dad. So they will look my, uh, uh, after my dad like, like a superhero, and maybe me as, as well. It's been overwhelming in a good way. That is something that I would like to transfer to anybody who's listening to this, because this just started with a vision, with, with, a, with a dream, with an imagine that we can do it. and, and I don't know where. I mean, we didn't, we didn't know where, where the, that horse was coming from, where the money was coming from, or, or, or well, we didn't have a plan. We just wanted to do it. One of the things that I admire most about my dad is that he was 60 when he decided to come here and start over again. I mean, that's, that's not something that you usually uh, see. Since I was a little kid, he was telling me all the time, uh, I mean, we should go and try to win one of those races. Because we, I mean, every time the, 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 the classic, uh, classics came, we were all watching from Venezuela. He always told me, we should go and try. I don't have any doubt that if we have the right horse, we can win that. And so he was kind of selling me his dreams, and I bought them all. 